A familiar scene on Asia's high seas and a sign of the region's industrial might. This part of the world has enjoyed spectacular growth for decades, but it has not been spared the pain of the global economic crisis. Regional powerhouses such as Japan, China and India are reeling, and experts say the short-term outlook for Asia's developing economies is bleak. When the financial crisis hits the real economy, it is not just the Wall Street and the Main Street that gets affected, but people in the informal sector, and therefore it's people who are found in the back streets, the side streets, and people with no streets. Many initially pinned their hopes on China for recovery, but the country's export-driven economy has taken a pounding. Factories are shutting down one after the other, and at least 20 million migrant workers have lost their jobs. The vulnerable and the poor have not been able to be protected from this crisis, especially when the financial crisis has become a full-blown economic crisis, especially in countries that are very export dependent. China's official target for growth is 8%, seen as the minimum required to prevent mass unemployment and social unrest. Authorities announced last November a stimulus plan worth almost $600 billion and are focusing their efforts on boosting domestic consumption. At this stage, it is unclear whether this will be enough. China is focusing on domestic problems and trying to save itself from a major crisis. But in, but in terms of, you know, save the world, I don't think, um, um, you know, th that's, a, that, that's a very <laughs> likely outcome. As once booming Asian economies struggle to tackle the worst economic crisis in decades, governments are wondering how long it will take till the world economy writes itself up.